Yo, what is going on, everybody, and welcome, guys, back to another Forza Horizon 5 video. And today, we're going to be discussing a little bit about the volcano that we have in FH5, Mexico. Now, of course, it is called the La Gran Cordilla, but taking in consideration of doing a little bit of research of this volcano, it is actually located in Baja, California, which you can look on the map. That is specifically Baja, California. You could say it could be somewhere else, but it's specifically Baja, California. Now, for this volcano, it's not actually technically a real volcano, but if you take part of the last part of the word, aka Calderia, and if you try to find it, there is that one volcano that you can find, and that is the La Forma volcano, which this volcano is actually a significant natural landmark to those of geologists and tourists, which this volcano stands of 1,100 meters above sea level. Well, if you want to be specific, it is 1,134 meters, which that is actually a stunning to some people's cases, especially to those geologists. To some of us, we don't care. We got Ferraris, we got McLarens, we got Lamborghinis, and we can just drive all the way to the top of the mountain or just use a Baja truck. Boom, we made it to the top of the mountain. But there is some geo geological history behind this volcano. You may not think of it, but it's true. So this volcano, it is actually created of the subduction of the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate, which was during, which was approximately 70 million years ago. Pretty crazy, right? I don't think there's anyone out there that's 70 million years old. Is there? Is there? Hello? Is there? I guess not. <laughs> so this subduction process created a series of volcanic islands that were eventually merged as into the Baja California as we know today. But the volcano itself was created approximately two and a half million years ago, and it stopped 11,700 years ago. You can probably put that in your calculator. It could be 9677 BC. Yeah, saying. Now, this time frame underwent some periods of volcanic activity during that time frame. Now, now we're going to talk a little bit into what rocks and what stuff you can find at this exact location. So, this volcano was a mixture of lava, ash, and pyroclastic deposits. If you don't know what that is, it is pretty much is also known as ash flow tufts or ignorance, which ignorance are a typically massive, but it is so poorly sorted. Now, I don't think any of you want, don't even want to know all this stuff, unless you're a geologist, then yeah, you would definitely know a little bit about that. Now, Taking into consideration of if you want to tour this volcano, you can. It's a very popular place amongst those hikers and adventurers and, of course, the rock climbers. I mean, you can rock crawl a F-450 if you want or an Hennessy uh, Velociraptor. Could work. But with this unique volcano... We don't know it's still active to this day, but it's a very good popular place for those that want to tour. Now, if you're looking for a cheap option to uh, go to the volcano, decides, uh, decide to get out of your house, decide to go to your car, go to an airport, have your passport ready, then... Uh, there's a thing called uh, getting the console, getting the Xbox, or getting a PC, buy it from Steam, Ubisoft Plus, all these kinds of places, buy Forza Horizon 5, and you'll be able to drive on top 
of the volcano. Now, obviously, I'm going straight into the fourth players that try to understand this. Of course, the volcano is not actually active in the game. It's not active at all. All you see is water on top, which makes sense. Because we know some people will love to try to jump into the lava, even though technically, soon we have the Hot Wheels update, that's when we had people try to get into lava. Or accidentally, I put that in quotes, accidentally fall into lava. Now, if you like to understand a little bit interesting details of Baja California and how Baja California Peninsula and La Reforma Volcano, this landmark, please go go do this, go research this. Obviously, this is just a little summary of this. I understand that there can be many other volcanoes that could possibly be the actual volcano in Forza Horizon 5, but this was the one that was very close enough, and I'll put these pictures right up at the end of the video, and you'll understand of like, oh, that makes sense. Like, I'll put like pictures every now and then through this video, and you will see, oh wait, that makes sense. It Like, it's very, very similar to the real thing. It might not be the real one, but it's very, very similar. But if you haven't already, please sure to leave a like and subscribe, because it would be awesome. And I'll catch you guys in another video. Peace.